Well, it changes the dynamic of the team entirely. Eric himself is one of the premier players in this league. Things have been uh, real good. Everybody in New York's been uh, real welcoming. The guys in the team have really made it a, an easy transition for me to uh, step in and to, uh, to play hockey. And he did play the game. Um, there weren't too many guys as dominant as him. Bigger, stronger, nasty. Eric Lindros with a five-game point-scoring streak and points in nine of his last ten games. Twelve points in the last ten games for Eric Lindros. When he was in his prime, I think he was definitely one of the dominant players. The impact that he had when he came in the league, it was uh, unbelievable. No one ever saw a big athlete like that and do what he was able to do on skates. The fact that he was the most dominant player in the NHL for about a five or six year period when he was healthy. Problems, he was so big and so powerful. And Lindros continues to hold a hot hand for the New York Rangers. Garen and Lindros tied up in the corner. Tom is marching around the net against Hal Gill. And he shoots and they score! <laughs> Jeff Toms from a goal line angle. Eric Lindros picks up an assist on the goal and it is his 700th career point. 391 assists. Lindros off the near side. Eric Lindros. Took the hit, Asham got a piece, backhanded in front, SCORE! Lord of Mighty Matthew, Barnaby Leach combined! Eric Lindros was instrumental in the last New York Rangers goal. He is the guy that made the pass across ice to Brian Leach. The coaches tell me he's a dream to coach. Teammates have full respect for him, and the biggest thing that I've noticed more than anything else is how competitive he is and how much he hates to lose. And oh, by the way, still one of the best in the game. Well, absolutely, without question.